Hello everyone, welcome to our very first um, Photoshop tutorial. My name is Tapelo Mabuza. On today's video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to create blur backgrounds on your images. So without wasting any further time, let's go straight into Photoshop and get started. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. Um, basically, this is what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be changing the blurriness of the image from this original blurriness caused by the lens to this smooth blurriness. So without wasting any further time, let us get started. Let us make two duplicates of the original image. I'm going to shut this eye for now and I'm going to name our first duplicate background and I'm going to name uh, my second duplicate model. The only way in which we can smoothen our background is to apply a blur effect. So first things first, uh, make sure you select your, your pen tool. But, but for the tutorial's sake, I'm going to use a magic selection tool. Make sure you give yourself some time on your selections, more especially the hair. The hair can be a little bit tricky, so give yourself some time when it comes to the hair. Just make a selection around your model, make sure it's clean and smooth. Hold shift on your keyboard and click on select and mask. Then immediately after doing so, this window is going to pop in. Let us start by zooming into the canvas and let us increase our brush size. Start by making a selection around his hair. Let us make a selection around his hair to smoothen the, the hair, the edges of the hair. Then once you're done, let go of your mouse button and the computer is going to smoothen everything. Let us do the same with his facial hair, the beard. So now I'm going to brush around his blazer. Make sure you have decreased your size, your brush size. I'm going to fast forward this step because it takes a little bit of time. So see you after brushing around the blazer. So now I've moved with my brush around his blazer and went on to brush the edges of his ear, his neck and his face. So after doing that, click on the OK button. Then the computer is going to make a nice selection around your model. Make sure the model layer is selected and click on the mask button. By so doing, you will realize that you have already separated your, your model from the background. So now we have a transparent background, meaning we can put whatever we want at the back. But in this case, we are not going to put another background. We are going to bring back the very same background. But in this case, it will be a little bit blurred. So to blur the background, this is what you must do. Click on Okay, first press control on your keyboard and then click on your thumbnail, on your model's thumbnail. By so doing, the computer is going to make a selection around your model. Make sure you select your background layer and go to select, modify, expand. I'm going to expand by 25 pixels and then hit OK. After doing that, go to edit, 
not edit yeah it's edit we need to first rasterize our layer after doing that go to edit fill make sure you select content away and hit ok this process takes a little bit of time so you'll have to be patient on your computer whilst it processes this step so once it's done you deselect let us check if our background has been fixed there we go we now have a clean background meaning that we can now manipulate our background by applying a blur effect to give it a little bit of blurriness I'm going to give it a blurriness of 40 and hit OK so basically that's what we've been doing today we were changing our background from from this original effect to this smooth um blurred effect so if you like this video make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel to get notifications on new videos with me tapilo mabuza it's been a pleasure thank you so much for watching i will see you next time